Hi, my name is Kai Yuan. Today I'm going to share with you guys how I use the Cine Reflect Lighting System from Lightbridge. So right now I just have a 25-25 set, but in the future maybe I will buy a 50 by 50 set. The bigger the reflector is, you can get smoother transition between highlight to shadow. So this 25-25 set, you can shoot some kind of close-up shot. That's okay because you can put the reflector super close to get those smooth transition and soft quality. Okay, so it's time to play with the CROS reflectance system. So the first step, I like to figure out where should I put the reflector first before I set up all the reflector because sometimes you just imagine, say, I want a light source over here, 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 and then after you set it all up and then you realize, holy Jesus, what the heck am I doing? That looks awful. So right now, I just use this little pocket light to figure out where should I put my light source. So I need to put it over here or a little bit over here. Okay, I think this is a good position. Okay, so that's the key light. And I want to put another reflector at the back to let the camera pop out a little bit. So I will just figure out, okay. So maybe over here. Okay, so after figuring out where should you put your reflector, and the second step will be where should you put your light source. So if I put the light source over here, some of the light beam will just shoot directly onto the object I'm gonna shoot. So you need to figure it out. Where should you place your light source? Maybe on the ground or parallel to the ground or above. Sometimes I want to create more ambient light inside. So I just shoot it directly to the ceiling and just bounce a light. But sometimes you want to control a light and you just want reflector to reflect the light and don't want any other light to just spill onto your object. So today, I'm gonna put my light source over there. Okay, so I place a light source over there and I don't have any unwanted spill light on my camera. Next step, it's time to take out the CROS. I always like to start with the diffusion too because you can clearly see where the light is. And another reflector should be over here somewhere. Okay, so after I figure it out, I should put a reflector over here and over here. So it's time to put it onto the light stand. So this is the spigot for the CROS reflector. So you can put this directly into your receiver, but you cannot change your angle. So you need some more tools to do that. So you can use some kind of magic arm, then you can boom out a little bit more out of your light stand. The magic arm is awesome, but it's so expensive. So I found something like this. This is from Copo Grip and a receiver and a spigot side. So you can just plug this in into any receiver and it just works like magic arm. It's just so easy to use. So the magic arm and this Copo bullhead stuff are awesome, but there is some problem. If you want to just pan a little bit or just tilt a little bit, it's pretty hard to control it because you loosen the knob, everything will just fall apart and just swivel around. So I found this. This is umbrella swivel bracket. So you can control your reflector super duper precisely. You want to tilt up a little bit, yeah, you can do it. And if you want to pan a little bit, you can do it. So this is so precise and you can lock two axis and just swivel single axis. So this is a cool tool. So these are all awesome tools and they all have different use case. So I use all of them all the time. Okay, so it's time to mount the reflector. So the same, I like to start with the diffusion too because you can see where the light is going. So if you start with a diffusion three or even number four, it's harder to see where your light is and I don't know where should I point the reflector. And because you are using the CROS, so swap out the reflector is so easy. Okay, so it looks pretty good at this angle. So I want a little bit softer. So I just change it into number three diffusion. Yep, and let's angle the rim light. Yeah, and actually it looks pretty good. I like it. Maybe I just bring up the dimmer to 75. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So this is pretty basic. You can actually do something more like you want some kind of light rays 
at the background on the walls, you can use some real small mirrors to do that. Yeah. Like this, light rays. So some texture, just make the image looks more interesting. Okay, so this reflect lighting system, I think you should buy a set, a set, a set of different sizes. If you just buy a single piece, I don't know, it's not a system anymore. It's just like a single reflector. It's not a system. So you need to buy a set, a set. It will be more versatile. You can swap out whatever you want. You want a little bit softer light. Yeah, you can swap out easily. That's a system. Okay, so this is the end of this video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to check out more video like this. If you want to watch more filmmaking stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kaiwan and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.